I do practically all of my drawings in ballpoint pen inside my sketchbook. This is where I was 30 sketchbooks ago, and here's where I am today. My goal is to reach 100 sketchbooks filled, cover to cover. So to reach that goal, today we're doing 5 hours of pen sketching in 5 minutes. Let's get to it. I've got no idea what the art journey looks like for other artists, but for me, it's always been slow. Whenever I look at the progress of other artists, it always looks so damn fast to me. I see their old sketchbook tours, and in a matter of just a few short years, they seem to go from complete beginner all the way up to a professional level. Before I started drawing, I dig back through the Instagram pages of artists that I loved, and saw that they first got their start just three years before I'd even found them. If they could do it so fast, then surely I could too. When I first got into drawing, I was so determined to be like them. I was so sure that I could do it to go from complete beginner all the way up to a professional in such a short space of time. At the time though, it didn't seem like just a few short years. I was 19, so at that age, three years is the time it takes for you to become an entirely different person. I was looking at that three year journey thinking, ah, oh, this is gonna take forever. But the years went by, my hours poured into art racked up into the thousands, and I mean that genuinely because I vlogged every hour of the journey alongside holding onto each piece of paper that I ever drew on. And here I am today, six years later, realizing just how short three years actually is, and I'm definitely not there yet. And not for lack of trying. When I first got going, I thought the difference between people that find success and people that don't was just effort, amount of time poured into their craft, and those are factors for sure, but I had no idea how big of an impact your starting conditions made. I think my assumption was that everyone starts in more or less the same spot, and so if you just put in as much time and effort as anyone else, then you'd be able to match them too. And as far as raw art skill goes, it's probably true that we all start at zero. Nobody's born with some innate ability to draw a perfect circle or knowing the exact proportions of a human body or with three-point perspective hard-coded into their DNA. These are all skills that you develop with time, and some artists probably started developing them through other hobbies before coming into drawing. But at the end of the day, developing those skills is all about putting enough time into them and getting your hours up. Right? Well, the thing is, there's an enormous amount of variation in the non-artistic skills too. Your life experience, your ability to focus, your approach to learning, understanding how your mind works. And I had no clue how much more important and influential all of that stuff was. It's really easy to say it's all about the grind, just keep practicing, just keep drawing. Or to go the opposite way and say it's all talent, some people are just naturally gifted. But the reality is, it's so much more complex and difficult than either of those explanations make it out to be. When I first got my start, I was a few years out of high school working a crappy cleaning job that I despised. Art was my beacon of hope, my compass towards a better future, one where I get to draw cool pictures and tell fun stories all day and make a career out of doing what I want to do and never have to work for somebody else ever again. I had the right motive and all the motivation in the world to get to work on art and grind, but my ability to focus was abysmal. Most days, I could only get myself to draw for maybe 20 minutes if that was a good day. All through my teens, my head was buried in Minecraft, Terraria, or Pokemon, and I always did well enough in school that I would never really needed to learn how to study or focus. It's wild too, because learning to focus is probably the single most powerful thing you can do to actively move your life in whatever direction you choose, but that's not something we're ever taught how to do. And especially growing up in the world of today, it's in every company's best interest to monopolize your attention and pull your focus away from your goals and towards the nearest Screen so you can keep on scrolling. God, I hate how much I sound like a boomer right now, but it's true. It took me a long time to slowly break those bad habits. Hell, even saying break makes it sound fast. A break is something that happens in an instant. This took years of slowly moving forward. But six years later, I'm starting to get kind of okay at it, both focusing and drawing. I think people come into art with all sorts of different starting conditions. Some people have leveled up a lot of the overlapping art skills through their other hobbies, but others too do genuinely come in at level zero. Sometimes their advantage 
advantage though is gonna be that they've actually had to learn how to study and so they pick up speed really fast because of it. Most of us though are probably gonna have a slower journey because you don't get to choose your starting conditions. It takes time to learn all of this stuff and most of it isn't actually about drawing, it's just general life experience. The thing that every beginner needs but is so determined to avoid <laughs> because life experience is really hard to get. You only get it by going through the tough parts of life and by failing over and over despite your best efforts. But as long as you do keep trying, that experience will get you to wherever you want to go. It just probably won't be as fast as you'd like or in the way that you originally wanted. That's been my experience at least and I'm pretty sure it's universal. So Sketchbook 100, here I come, however long it's gonna take. Subscribe if you wanna and uh, bye bye.